Member for Melton. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise today to speak about an inspirational young lady I met recently. On December 19, Minister Wynne and I visited Bacchus Mass and the modular units as part of the Street to Home initiative. Natalie, a mother of twin girls, opened up her home to show us firsthand how a hand up, not necessarily a handout, can make such a difference in a person's life. This is Natalie's story in her words. In 2016, I lost custody of my twin daughters due to my drug use and unfortunately my life had been down the rabbit hole. I'd been bashed, chased with dirty noodles and I honestly didn't think I would be around to see 30. Then I met a man named Adam. Adam was the first worker to ever make contact from Uniting Care and I owe everything to that man. Since entering the Bacchus Marsh units, I've been completely drug free for almost six months. I've been promoted to two IC in my job at Starbucks, and most importantly, I've accessed back with my daughters, and I, and I am continuing to move forward with hope for the future. All I needed was that little bit of extra support from the team at Uniting and someone to have faith in me. The team at Uniting are the real life superheroes, and I can't thank Adam, Elliot, Laura, and Jax enough for giving me my life back. Thank you, Natalie, for opening up your home and sharing your story. Natalie had a very ha happy Christmas with her girls, and it's all because someone saw her what she couldn't see in herself, and that was hope. The Rough Sleeping Action Plan is a positive step by the Andrews Labor Government in supporting the vulnerable in our community. Congratulations, Natalie, and thank you, Uniting Care, for supporting her. Yeah, yeah.